Hi guys. Stop recording video. Face center. Speech off. It's VI Live with Kelly. Hold on, guys. Speech on. Stop recording video. Face center. Speech off. Okay. It's VI Live with Kelly. And you guys, I think it's like Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's August 12th, 2021. And. Anyway, I am doing like a chit chat update on home stuff in my Marshalls haul video and as well as update on my curls, my hair products, things I'm using. I'm going to go on and do a hydration video with y'all, curl hydration or rehydration. I've been actually trying to film this video for like a couple hours now. And so, yep, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, and then, you know, maybe do like a couple of hot topics in this video too. So yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, and that's the bottom line. Um, I do have on the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, and I love it. You guys know that I love it. And I still have on these same sunshades. I guess I've been wearing these glasses non-stop for about a month, maybe. And, yeah, that's what's going on. Um... I was kind of bummed last this past weekend I thought I was gonna go to Florida for a training and I was gonna be able to do a vlog like experience and let y'all see the hotel and all that stuff like that I thought that was gonna be really fun and with everything going on I wasn't able to go so this is like the second or third or fourth trip I've had to cancel <laughs> so Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're staying encouraged. Um, I hope you're taking life seriously, calling everybody that you love, and, um, you know, forgiving and letting go and moving on and just really um, embracing every good thing that you have and letting go of all the bad stuff. Um, I also hope that um, you guys are keeping your immune systems boosted. Depression is going to stagnate your immune system. So do everything in your power to stay away from feeling bad and lost into sad thoughts. Um, decrease the news as much as possible. Shift your social media to more positive affirmations. Um, decrease on materialism so like maybe not watch so many um, people's videos where maybe they're living the life that you never have anything that makes you feel bad decrease and then whatever makes you feel good helps you escape soothes you increase on that um, you may need to change what programs you're watching maybe you don't watch TV normally then maybe you need to start watching TV Maybe you need to start watching movies. Um, you know, maybe you're not a comedy person, but maybe you do need to start having some laughter. Um, if you do not have friends or you live far away from friends and family and you're really concerned about leaving your home, believe it or not, these online dating platforms are creating communities with their live um, features where you're really making friends on live and it's as simple as creating your little profile and clicking go live. It's free, it's a free feature and hundreds of people, thousands of people are at your fingertips. Um, you can join other people's lives. There's like, the live groups are on every topic now. It's not just about trying to date. Now it's about talents, it's about skills, it's about networking, it's about commonality, cooking, anything. Um, Patreon and OnlyFans, 
yes guys they're not just sexual platforms there are people on there doing concerts there's people on there sharing with you how to um self provide self care there's people on there there's psychologists i mean y'all the list goes on and on like whatever you're into or won't you explore some new things there may be things that you weren't aware that you were into um for example it's been a lot of like nature videos popping up on my suggested views and suggested watches that i have found super interesting especially about these sharks and things that go on when there's a tsunami and if that stresses you out don't watch that though but like i'm saying there are tons of ways for you to have fulfillment be social be engaged um and stimulate your mind in a positive manner where you're not so alone isolated depressed um it is very much an enemy especially during these times you want to strengthen your immune system at all costs if you don't feel comfortable to go to the gym then you're gonna need to start having a workout routine at home i don't care if you march in place for 30 minutes i don't care if you get on your elliptical if you get on a treadmill if you youtube a yoga class a pilates class an abs workout a step aerobics you can still do step aerobics without the step guys if you don't have a step, of course, you know, Amazon.com has them. You can get them everywhere. Walmart, wherever. Sports Academy, what's it called? Academy, um, Dick, Sporting Goods. I mean, the list goes on and on. Target, everybody has step. If you want to do step aerobics from home. I love step aerobics. That's one of my favorite things. You can order a bike. Everybody's got great deals on workout equipment. So... You definitely want to stay, you know, in a place of great health, the best health. The best um, cure is prevention, okay? That's the best cure. The best cure to all disease is preventative measures. So you, you know, prepare to not be sick. And the slightest little sign of any symptom, go ahead on and fully attack it to shut that down. Don't wait until it turned into a full-blown migraine or whatever it was brewing up. Go on and start taking those probiotics, the natural um, antibiotics, the garlic oil beads, or go on and start taking the cayenne, the echinacea. Go on and start um, drinking you know, a ton of orange juice, boost your immune system. Go on and start flushing and alkaline. And you see what I'm saying? If you know you've been skipping your vitamins, go on and start, get on top of that. Go on and pick up a protein shake. Go on and do everything you can to decrease the chance and to uh, kill those symptoms at the very first instance. Don't wait, okay? So, um, you know, those are some of my tips, guys as far as staying safe you all oh, another quick thing i wanted to tell you is that this is not the time to be private about your medical needs about your mental health this is not the time to be private and isolate yourself um you need to tell people if you are really struggling with mental wellness people need to know and they need to be around you and they need to include you and you don't need to think i don't want to be a burden i don't want people to know this is the time people need to know how you're doing check on people let them know you want them to check on you be open choose to trust right now with your feelings so that people can know how to deal with you and see you accordingly that's a really big thing you all if you all are having COVID, if you're experiencing um, these illnesses, please don't be at home alone. Please do not do that. Um, prayerfully, you have a sibling. You have someone that can check on you every single day, multiple times a day. There should be someone that comes to your door, even if they're going to talk to you through the door, or even if they're going to sit in the parking lot from their car, and they should be able to say, come to the window, let me see you. 
tell me that you're okay they should be able to tell you what is your pulse because when you have um these illnesses it affects your respiratory system um it can shut down your immune system to the point um, it's so many things that can happen all of a sudden you need it so please stay in constant communication with your loved ones who are experiencing these um these illnesses right now um and make sure you check on them multiple times a day i don't care if they get it at us we like stop calling me you get it on my nerves enjoy it because you would love to have that conversation versus they're gone i mean what a nightmare so when you know you know and start calling and checking on everybody all the time just call and check everybody. Hey, can you text me back and just let me know you're okay? Can you um, call me even for two minutes and just say, hey, I'm doing good, click. Like everyone should be staying in communication with each other, letting each other know we're doing good or we're not. And if you have tested positive, you need people to be calling and checking on you. You should be texting and letting people know, hey, I took my pulse this morning, it was this. Hey, I took my pulse um, this afternoon, it's this. Hey, I took my pulse and it's this. I'm feeling good or I'm feeling the same. I'm feeling, and people should be bringing you food. Hallelujah or praise the Lord if you can order food. But eat, don't stop. Eat something every day. I always recommend this bean soup that I was talking to you guys about in the last video. Um, how to prevent or how to um what strategy you should have when um, attacking viral infections. So definitely check that video out because I tell you guys about this soup. Um, but you need to be flushing. You need to never stop drinking. Hydrating is the key. Flushing, detoxing is the key. And you need to be eating. Your body needs fuel to heal itself. To heal itself, it needs fuel and energy. So you, you know, low circulation, that's not good for you. You need to be moving that body. You need to be flushing, going to the restroom, coming back, resting for sure. But you need to flush, replenish, restore, and you need to repeat and keep going and eating. And if it's just soup, great. If it's just a salad, great. Even if it's half of the salad and half of the soup for lunch and then the other half for dinner. But... You got to keep moving and this is the time to connect. If you have a church home and you don't have anybody that can do any, you need to call your church and you need to tell them, hey, I've tested positive for this and I need somebody to check on me. Um, I'm by myself. I need somebody to bring me food. I'm too tired and weak to do anything. I don't have. This is the time for transparency. This is the time. If you want to stick around here. If you want to be healthy, if you want to get past these things, you need a support system and you're going to have to um, be transparent about that, okay? Um, there's a 24-hour um, prayer line. There's also a resource group on Instagram. It's Excellent Wife uh, Prayer Ministry. So I'll make sure to um, put that in the description box below. But it is excellent wife prayer ministry they're 24 hours and um you can actually dm them like send them a message and tell them whatever your prayer request is if you don't want to speak to someone live and you can also um like let them know like hey i i tested positive for xyz whatever it is right um i really don't know what to do i don't have resources i need help i'm in this state blah 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 they always respond um, they'll always give you some type of information no matter where you are on resources um, so that you can have what you need. Okay, guys. So it's really important, you all, to be honest right now. Be honest. Let people know where you are at mentally, physically. Where are you at? Tell the truth. Say, hey. I feel this way. I'm really depressed. I'm deeply depressed. Um, talk about it, whatever it is. You know, hey, I have so, my anxiety is through the roof. Um, I'm having panic attacks. 
Um, I don't know. Whatever your problem is, though, talk about it. Tell tell somebody. Tell a few people, actually. Tell a few people. Let them know what's going on with you. Create a circle of trust where people can check on you. Even if it's a text, they can send you encouraging prayers, uplifting scriptures, um, devotionals. Whether they just say, hey, I was thinking about you. How are you feeling? You want to talk? Um, can I send you something? Like, let's... And tell people what you need and want. Hey, I really need this. I really want this. Blah, blah, blah. They can try to do it for you. Closed mouth doesn't get fed, guys. So, anyway, I have a rule in my own life to make sure that I laugh every single day. That's my rule. I want to laugh every single day. Okay. Um, I also have a rule that no matter how I feel, I remind myself of the promises of God, no matter how I feel, and that trumps everything else. So I don't accept anything God didn't give me, and that's that. And that really helps me because I, I'm a person that struggles with anxiety um, and, and depression. You know, that's real. Because every day I'm waking up still with visual impairment. This is 24 years. So it's not a walk in the park. Um, every day I'm expecting total healing. Every day I'm expecting to, to move on, to, you know, move on from this. And so every day I have to put on a good, you know, a happy face. And know that God's timing and plan is the best plan for my life. And just be cool with it. So it's like every day I have to keep saying that. Like, God knows best. God's plan, everything's going wonderful, everything's all right on time. Hallelujah for the manifestation. Thank you that I'm well. I have to remind myself of all that I do have and just keep it pushing. So I don't spend a lot of time, you know, interacting with people who are filled with anger, hatred, um, bitterness, like low level energy because it will cause you to plummet. Um, it will cause you to get off track. It will cause you to be frustrated. You can transfer those emotions to each other. Um, and it really just mess up your whole vibe. And this is the time where energy and is real valuable right now. Um, because so much is being hurled at us. And so just make sure to take care of your environment, your atmosphere, and keep moving forward now let's see who this is guys because i literally let me see YouTube. So, you guys, I ended up talking longer than I expected. Okay, I ended up talking longer than I expected on all of those topics, but I guess that's what needed to happen. Face on. Face center. So, face center. Video. Face okay. So that's cool. Um, so really quickly, let me update you guys. So remember I had done, is it I had done? I had done my um, Marshall's haul on my bedding and I showed you guys everything that I got and everything and then I made my bed with you all. I got rid of everything. Okay, cool. So you guys, remember how I told you I would never recommend 100% polyester? Um, sheets or anything 100% just polyester period for bedding let me tell you guys why oh my god let's get to that topic y'all when I tell you it's a mess you all these these um, pillowcases and this this freaking fitted sheet y'all this mess rolls around for years you never stop you never get in the bed have you guys ever tried to hold on i'm throwing it away 
I'm throwing the sheets away, you guys. I just put the Donna Karen. I had sheets. I always pick up sheets when I see Grace, like a really, really good deal. Because, of course, you know that I get rid of my bedding like four times a year or maybe five times. I'm getting new bedding. So, you all, it's like you never get in the bed. I pulled the comforter back. I pulled the flat sheet back to slide in the bed. You all, I never can get in there because it's like rolling. This fitted sheet is not fitted. It's just rolling. I'm like, oh my God. Let me show y'all. So I ended up, I was supposed to, some kind of way, some kind of way I forgot and I was talking on the phone to Patrick. Hey Patrick, um, my favorite realtor in California. And you guys, I ended up making my bed. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I ended up making my bed because I was like, there's no way I want to sleep like that. Let me see if I, no, this isn't it. Oh, this is my other bed. Hold on. Okay. I ended up making, first of all, let me just say this. These Lindor's dark chocolate truffles are delicious. Don't buy this because you'll eat the whole bag in one day like I did. Don't do it. Okay. But they are delicious, guys. Okay. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Don't do what I do. <laughs> do what I say. Anyway, this is one of my half gallons of orange juice. I'm always telling y'all. If you start feeling bad, but period, I drink one of these probably like every three days anyway, the whole thing in one day. Um, this was only a dollar and 89 cents. I hope y'all can see it and I'm not moving it around too much. It has calcium and vitamin D enriched and super good. This has more calcium, by the way, than milk. All right, so. Um, Anyway, guys, so literally I was so frustrated about these sheets and your sheets make you feel clean or they make you feel dirty. Those freaking polyester sheets. Oh my God. So let me show you guys what these, so let me see if this package, hopefully you could see the packaging. Is by Donna Karen. I don't even know what the price is. I wonder if it's a price tag on here somewhere. I bought these forever ago. Like during Christmas. Like 2019. Yep, it's a price tag down there, guys. Maybe y'all can see it. I don't know. But it is a price tag. Down there. So, yeah. And I, I'm, I think I got these from Macy's Backstage. I'm pretty sure I got these from Macy's backstage. Okay. Okay, so anyway, let me show y'all really quickly because I saw my hair products on the bed. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is buying, I mean, it's calling one of my Be My Eyes volunteers because I don't know what hair products I have right here. Anyway, here's the sheets now. Hopefully y'all can see them. Anyway, the fitted sheet is actually fitted, so when I get in the bed, I can actually get in there instead of it, the sheets rolling. I don't know if y'all can see these sheets or not. Um, but it's an actual fitted sheet. It's super nice, and it's soft. These are 100% cotton, and I forget what the thread count is, but they have the Donna Karen sheets in the Macy's backstage all the time. At least when I go, let me see something. Okay. So definitely don't even buy the 100% polyester bedding at all. Don't even do it. It's a waste of your time, my time. Don't do it. Okay. 
now. Mm, okay. Open Be My Eyes. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to call one of the Be My Eyes volunteers. And have them. Using rear camera. Please wait. Finding the first available. Have them read what it says on here on the packaging. Connected. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Can you read to me this um package so it can tell me like what? Oh yeah, it's upside down though. Okay, cool. Okay. Solid solid satin queen sheets. Okay, and then like, what is it? Is it like 100% what, or is it 60 or something? Oh, the count? Yeah, that would be great. Um, it's 100% cotton satin, 300 thread count, made in Pakistan. Machine washable. It comes with one fitted sheet and one flat sheet. Okay. And two pillowcases? Um, oh, wait. Uh, can you put the phone, uh, yeah, and then to the right? Yes, and it says one pair of standard queen pillowcases. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, do you see, like, a price tag on here? I do not. It says DKNY. Okay, that's one, two. Um, oh, turn around. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. Oh wow, you got some color as I am. I've been trying that new product too. Oh yeah, oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna put that over there. All right, so yeah, right what's, there. What's this one say? That one is the Jamaican black. Can you turn it to the right a little bit? Yep. Jamaican black castor oil smoothie. So it's the restore and repair. Hmm. Is it like a curl cream or something? Or is it like a um, gel? Can you turn it all the way around so I can, uh, yeah, okay. So now can you put the phone closer? It's kind of like in a glare. Okay, so it's like a curling cream. It says best smoothie directions, section hair. I wonder if you have to wash this out. Oh, can you pull the phone back a little bit? Yeah, and then go in a little bit closer, but lower to the product. Yep, and to the right. Perfect. Okay. So, section hair. Um, I'm not too sure what. But I just wonder if it was going to be like a conditioner or a gel or a cream. Oh, no. I don't mind doing it at all because I would love to know, too. The type of product color. Oh, okay. This one is the Curlala Defining Curl Custard by Aunt Jackie's. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. It's just a curl mm -hmm. finer. Okay, and then what about this one? That also, oh, that's the same one you just had, I think. Turn. Turn. Yep, keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, okay, this one is the double buttercream, as I am, with uh, cocoa butter, shea butter, Jehovah oil. Okay, so it's a moisturizing one. It's a cream curl. Okay. Alrighty. Well, you've been very, very helpful. Are you here in Georgia? No, I'm actually in Louisiana currently working on a Disney film. Oh my gosh, you are super cool. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I do YouTube, so I am um, doing a video right now for... Um, my channel is VI Life with Kelly, Visually Impaired Life with Kelly. VI Life with Kelly. Let me add 
to your subscribers. All right, you're super sweet. Thank you. Yeah, it's K E L L I. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm about to rehydrate these curls and talking about. I love that. How long have you been on your uh, your journey? So I started my channel in 2013, but I just actively started uploading in April. So now I have maybe like 130 um, videos, but I have a long ways to go to get them to my thousand subscribers. So I've been trying to figure that, crack the code out on that, on how I can get to these thousand subscribers, but that's what I've been working on. And then I'm getting ready to start my videos on my journey um, becoming a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting ready. That's one of my surprises um, to my channel. I'm going to talk about um, me going back to school. And then it's pretty much going to consume. I have a, I have a friend um, that I made in school. He's totally visually impaired and he became visually impaired like in his 50s. Uh -huh. And so he hadn't been in school since like 1983. Wow. So he's learning like technology, you know, he was like thinking he'd be retiring in the next whatever, but instead he's learning like all things, vis you know, non-visual. So anyway, um, that's incredible. Yeah. He's finished, he's finishing up his last year, um, in his program. So I'm going to be vlogging a lot about, um, helping and things we go through with that. And then, um, me going back to school and, and do you read in braille then i do not i wasn't born visually impaired so um i don't have you have to have like very high sensitivity to pick up to read like that it's kind of like if you don't need it you won't have it right but yeah. i i use jaws um and voiceover all apple devices have voiceover and cool. So, yeah, they dedicated like a whole website for visually impaired, applevis.com. So. And you are the VI life with Kelly. Yeah. Do you see it? You have to put a space. If you're if you're looking on um, YouTube, you, yeah. You have to put a space. So you put VI life as one word together. Okay. And then you put a space, and then you put with Kelly as another word together. And Kelly's K E L L I. Yes. Unless, um, and if you don't find me then, then you probably, do you have Instagram? I do. Yeah, if you go on Instagram and put it all together, then I pop up right away because I'm like the only one. And then the link is right there and it just gets you over there. V I like with Kelly. Yep, I found you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you. So that's where really the... our journey, though, honey. Yeah, seriously, it's it's getting out of control. I actually like um if you don't watch, I don't know if you watch a lot of YouTube, but I follow the Glam Twins, and um their hair is like to it's their behind. No, oh, it's, it's it's alerting me. Thank you for following. And um and. Their hair is to their behinds. I actually sent them a message asking would they please, um, because we don't live far from each other. So uh -huh. I asked them would they please consider um, doing my hair because they're like licensed cosmetologists. But they, all they do is make YouTube videos because like they have like 500,000 something subscribers. They're really good. And so I was like, like glam twins? Yes, they're the glam twins. They're on Instagram too. And they have, um, if you put it oh, I think I've seen them before. Wow, they have some thick hair. Yes. And see, I'm like jealous because they have each other. So like they yeah. can't do each other's hair, you know? With me, I'm yeah. stuck over here like, mm hmm. I mean, people will never know the strength it takes, the arm strength, <laughs> the natural updo. Like, it's insane. <laughs> the strength. That is great. I love it. The strength, yes, no, and it's tiring. One time I did like a chit chat. I did a chit chat, I'm gonna say a week or two ago, and I was talking about cancel culture, uh, cancel culture and all that. Uh -huh. and, and that video was like 
two hours I was doing my hair for the whole time, putting the products oh in, finger raking, and I finally just balled my hair up. And when I say, guys, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I was like, this is why people with long hair, we got this basic bun life, basic ponytail life, because you don't know what we went through just to get that done. And then it's like, then when you think about when you have to rehydrate your curls, it's like starting all over again. Like, oh, <laughs> God, you know, so yeah. it's a lot, a lot. But yeah, hopefully they read my message and give me a chance and collaborate with me because I told them I want to do a um, Glam Twins, like save the day and come help me and teach me some tricks on how to better detangle and show me like the different tools they use. I don't, yeah. I don't really know what they're talking about. I can only like imagine. And so, um, so I want them to like do a video with me and then we could like do a collaboration and it'd be like they saved the day and taught me and then we could film it. Because I bet you it's a tons of people just like me, even though you watch the video, you need more like hands on. Like that's- I love more detailed videos too. So I totally get that. Yeah, because even when I learned how to like cornrow, like braid my hair, it was uh -huh. it was the person doing my hair that taught me what to do. Like when I could feel it, I was like, oh, that's what you're doing. You're like kind of scooping and pulling. And, but like me watching when I was sighted and then listening, that would never connect. I'm like, yeah, that sounds kind of good. I don't know what to do. But... Yeah, anyway, I don't want to hold you up. No, I'm so glad to speak to you and get to know you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I have a great time I'm... with Disney. Thank you. Yeah, it's almost over and then I'm off to LA, so. Really? Sure. Are you you're making a and you're making a movie? I'm not in the movie personally. I work in production. Oh yeah. So like the set design, like mm -hmm. all of that, I work doing that. I went I went on a um tour of Disney like forever ago. Like I was a kid. Uh -huh. And it was like where you guys work and they were basically like telling us about how it's non traditional. And so it was like kinda set up like you know, like almost like a kid's area. It was super colorful, everyone, you know, kinda did their own thing. And um and I remember when I was talking to my friend that works for Google and then another friend of mine that's an architect and, uh -huh. and they were saying how they kind of adapted their work model or whatever from you guys because um, it's like when you're dealing with creatives, yes. you, you just need your own, you know, space and to make it your own, like do whatever you need to do. If you need to work at night or, you know what I mean? Like no actual... Oh, I'm going to be here from 7 to 2 and I've got to produce from 7 a.m. to 2, you know, in this little cubicle. It's like, no, I might need to run around outside or I don't know. But anyway, so it was cool. I was like, oh, wow. Disney's awesome. I love Disney. <laughs> yeah. Huge part of my upbringing, so I love it too. Oh, well, I look forward to getting to know you too and you have an amazing afternoon. You too. Have a good one. You too. Bye. And call. Button. Are you sure? No. Button. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So, hold on. Let me see. Open Instagram. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm to her. Let me give her a shout out. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much for following me. My Be My Eyes volunteers rock, you guys. As you can see, <laughs> they're so awesome. This was a lady from Disney that was just helping me. Isn't that awesome? Okay, guys, so open YouTube. Okay, guys, so basically... I wanted, I was asking her about the sheets so you guys can know exactly what I got, which was the 100% cotton satin 
300 thread count it's gonna uh, sleeping is gonna be so awesome today also i want to tell you guys the polyester sheets made me hot excuse me so i could never get slide in the bed it was just like a fight i was constantly like pulling and trying to find that special even though i had the flat sheet parted I still could never get in there without getting caught in the sheets. It was a mess, guys. I hate it. So I ended up sleeping on top of everything for the last, I guess I've had this done for a week now, maybe. So no, no, thank you. Or maybe almost two weeks. I definitely think I've started this like last week, at least a week and a half. So no, I got rid of those sheets. I hate them. Mm -mm. No, thank you. So now I have the new Donna Karen sheets. Love them. She's over $39.99. That's a great deal for the flat fitted and two standard queen pillow cases. Love it. And let me show y'all the pillows then. Because you guys know that I got the um you guys know that I have got the new start of pillows. And they were the standard queen size as well. So this is the pillowcase love 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 um sleeping tonight is gonna be awesome awesome okay okay so then we got to talk to her about our hair products so we have the as i am jamaican black casserole curling cream we have the aunt jackie's curling custard and we have the as i am double butter cream Okay, so where do we start? I really don't want to start, but let's just start. So I took my shower a while ago, like hours ago. And the thing is, it gets dry up here fast. It's already really dry. But the rest of the hair is... The rest of the hair is um is not is nowhere near dry. Like if I was to go outside right now with my hair the way it is. Let me see guys. Let me I kinda wanna re soak my hair because I don't like it when it's I don't like it when it's like almost dry. I will tell you guys, these um, towels that I got this like this, I don't like them. Some of you all, if you guys like super plush towels, then this is your towel. These towels are like too plush. And I know you're thinking like, is there is there a such thing as too plush? Yeah. These are too, too thick. Too thick. And I don't, I don't like it. It's, um... It's causing me too much grief. Let me see. And I'm trying to think, are these the Ralph Lauren ones? I should have asked her. I should have asked her. Nope. These are not the Ralph Lauren. No, the reason why I know is because the Ralph Lauren. <laughs> the Ralph Lauren has a dark tag. And it pops out. Color blocking. It really helps me. So that's the reason why I know if it's a Ralph Lauren towel or not. is because the tag is dark. It's like black or blue. Something dark like that. And it pops out against the white background. Is this? Yeah. And this one looks to me like it could be the same color. Because I can't tell. But you guys, you guys let me know. Okay, so now. Face on. Here, face near left edge. Selfie zoom. Zoom. Stop recording video. Face near left edge. One face near left edge. Off. Okay, guys. So, yeah. So right now, what I'm gonna probably do, I'm gonna go re-wet my hair just real quick, so that it won't be so dry because it's already dry all around here. And then we'll start sectioning and going from there. The stuff that I don't like doing. This is the stuff I don't like doing, guys. But my hair was so dry today. There was absolutely no way of me.
Rehydrated the curls. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, I resaturated my hair. So that it would not give me such a hard time like last time when I did the last video and the hair was dry. No. And the funniest thing is, I ended up watching a video. It popped up on my suggested views videos um, to watch. It was the Glam Twins. And they were showing like their new um, curly routine, rehydration routine. And guess what? They were actually using this black Jamaican, Jamaican black castor oil. I was like, really? I was like, wow, I was just talking about this. Now, I don't know if it's the combination of what I've been using to, to wash my clothes with, but you guys, it is so much lint on everything. It's unbelievable. And what I'm starting to think is because I washed all the, um, I washed all the, the towels when I bought them. Guys, I'm starting to think those towels have been down there so long because you know these stores are cleared out because everybody's just buying up everything that comes in and I think they're finally being able to go into their warehouses and like empty out and I think that the towels just had tons of dust and it's like now I'm washing them and all this dust is just coming out the woodworks y'all i know y'all natural curly girls that are watching are thinking like no don't comb it out finger rake take your time and i agree i really do agree to an extent but look at this this one right here is like a knot it's a knot So I don't know if I need to just go find me like a rat tail, rat tail comb and like sit up here. But this is the reason why women wear wigs too. For any of you guys that are watching, this is the reason why women will keep their hair cornrowed and wear wigs because you don't feel like it. I literally need to rehydrate my curls like every two days. I literally need to go through this process right here every two days because my hair sucks up all this oil and water and it's done. It's like, uh uh, ma'am, I'm finished. I need some more. Um, if I just want to run out the house, then I can wet my hair and put oil in it and just go and don't care like oh well, whatever if i'm gonna wear it down if i'm just gonna bun it then i could shellac a whole bunch of products in it and just still go um but for sure um i definitely need help and i'm definitely at the place where i cannot just 
just comb through here. I can't just part my hair with my fingers. That's not real for me. Um, so right now with you guys, I'm going to go in. I kind of want to go in with this curling custard. Let's see what it looks like first because my hair is going to be getting dry fast and I have to hurry up. So, okay. it's between me putting the Jamaican black castor oil. Now, here's the Aunt Jackie's product, curling custard. And let me see what that feels like. Hmm. Oh no. This this Jamaican black castor oil curling cream for me it really feels like a it feels like less jam from back in the day. But less jam was like a lot thicker than this. But it it smells like and it feels like a less jam. Now what I find works a lot better for me is when I slide my fingers diagonally through here, I get a lot more done. So I think what I'm gonna do for this product is just continue to slide it through and I don't know, it seems like I'm gonna put, let me get, so I'm getting a lot. Let me tell you guys, cause some of you all might be concerned like, ooh, her hair is shedding a lot. My hair has always shed a lot because I play games. And the reason why I'm telling y'all I play games is because I let my hair get bone dry, crazily dry. And then I'll finally be like, oh, let me, Go ahead on and let me not, let me hydrate now when I really and truly need to put an oil, at least oil my scalp every single day. And a lot of people be like, oh, it don't take all day. Yes, it does. To each his own, you guys. I need to really and truly oil my scalp every day and hydrate pretty much every other day like if I could be thankful to that my hair would be already to my behind if I could just be faithful and say okay it is what it is you know you got you have long hair and you want it healthy you want it pretty okay well hydrate every other day that's what you're doing that's your lifestyle yeah so guys so far this is pretty good i just put some more jamaican black castor oil now you guys these three products i'm putting in my hair right now products cost if you don't find them on sale these three products are going to run you about 70 to 90 dollars total i found them on sale if you watch my video i did where i told you guys about the hair products i found in tj maxx marshall's and sally's was having a sale last month when you spent 40 dollars on hair care you got 10 dollars off so i ended up getting you know, the Aunt Jackie's curling custard for $7.99 out of Marshall's. I ended up finding a main choice growth oil in there for $8.99, which is what I put in my scalp. Um, and I ended up getting the Jamaican black castor oil. I really don't remember. I want to say I paid like $11.99. Something between $11.99 and 
So these three products end up costing me maybe like $45 instead of, you know, 80 or 90. So, but I will tell you guys, I'm using a large amount of this product in my hair. Like I'm literally putting three fingers in there at a time. Now, the biggest problem I'm having right now, my hair is detangling really well when I'm coming under, but when I go over, that's the real problem that I'm having, the over. Up here is nowhere near detangled. And this is what I want the Glam Twins to show me. I want them to show me what it is they use. Just if they can do my hair, I can learn so much. Like how they're going about, you know, getting their hair to cooperate. Okay, let me see. So, right now, I'm going to put up a picture of me on Instagram. It'll probably be up when this video comes up. It'll be up on my Instagram showing you what my hair looked like completely dry and down in this same outfit. This is why I have this outfit on. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I finish doing this and it's completely wet. So it'll probably be like, um, maybe I'll do one dry, one wet. So like a collage picture post, it'll be on my story as well. And then I'll do multiple in another post of the dry and then multiple of the, y'all, yeah, of the, um, one thing I will say that's frustrating, multiple of the wet, okay, is when you have gel manicure, when it's time to get the your nails done, even before, the strands of hair will, they will loop on to your polish. So it's like you have to be really strategic about how you're, detangling because you can't really and truly detangle like you want to if you have nails like okay this detangling went a lot better but I'm not using all my fingers at one time I will say that so I don't know. I'm excited about that though. That went a lot better. Now, just I really want to get to the point where when I go to detangle my hair, it's already in agreement. You know, I can go all the way up to the root, and it's just doing amazing. So, yeah. I have a few tangles in here, but I really want my curls to clump. That's another thing I'll be trying to figure out. How do they get their curls to clump? Like for me, I have to soak my hair and then I really can't detangle if I want my curls to really if I really want my curls to be defined, I cannot do too much of this. But it needs to be detangled, guys. Like, it has to be detangled. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get this done. Oh, 
Okay, guys, so okay, now I'm going to. I feel like I've done enough. I'm not gonna. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I've done pretty good. I've gotten a good amount. I don't know visually what this looks like to you all. Please leave comments below and tell me if you can tell that it's detangling or can you tell that it's really, you know, tangled or what. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, I'm leaving this alone. I know some of y'all are watching like, oh my gosh. Look at all this hair. See, that's what the glimpses, they like have absolutely no hair loss. Like when they do their hair, they don't have all this shedding that I have. Even though I've always had tons of shedding. Like, that's a norm for me. And I don't know if it's going to stay a norm. Like, no matter what. We'll see. Let's do it. Let's do a challenge. This week, I'm going to try my best to... I'm going to try my best to um, hydrate every other day. And keep my oil scalped every single day. And I'm going to see if that makes a huge difference on when I go to detangle. If now I'm putting in double buttercream. If it makes a huge difference when I go to detangle next week, we'll do a video. And we'll see. I know one thing though, you guys, my hair was so dry yesterday. I was like, oh no, no, no. I was hating it. I was so dry. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, wow. That didn't sound good. But, y'all, I'm just trying to get to that place, that special secret place. Y'all, I don't know. That didn't sound good. I think I broke a few strands that wasn't trying to be broken. See, if I took my time... Yeah, I could have less, but y'all, taking my time is going to be like half of a day. No. I need a curly, you know what I need? I need a curly partner. That's what I need. I think everyone, once your hair gets at a certain thickness and at a certain length, we should get curly partners, y'all. Okay, now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to comb through this, even though y'all don't recommend it, but I feel better about combing through this now. Okay, look, I'm using this comb. Hopefully, it doesn't have too much evidence. <laughs> Hold on. I'm using this comb. Right? Okay. Now, y'all, when I was combing from the underside, it was going really good. When I come out here on this other side, it's like, really? See that right there? Not fun. And this is a wide tooth comb, guys. But I have issues because I don't hydrate regularly enough. So, this is the drama you have when you don't hydrate regularly enough. But I will say it's going a lot better than it was at the beginning. At the beginning, we weren't getting anywhere. Okay, so now 
Okay, guys, I think I actually combed my hair out. I'm proud because normally I would have got tired on y'all and walked away. Like, nah, I'm not doing this tonight. And told y'all I'll be back because it takes me too long. And for one, I don't like all this process. It takes too long. But number two, no, that's the whole, that's the whole problem. It just takes too long. Ooh, that, now that's a big chunk of, of tangles right there. This right here is chunks of tangles. You're going to have to break that one up some type of way. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Y'all, it came through. Okay. You guys, so. Okay. I got it. I got it done. Y'all need to be proud of me. This is a big deal. Okay, now, you see, I know y'all are getting concerned about how much hair you see on there. But, this is another big ball of tangles. My finger is not... Okay, here we go. And another big ball of tangles. Let's spread it. You see what I'm doing? I'm spreading, once I find a big ball, I'm spreading it so it doesn't stay like a big mass. And I notice as I spread it, it helps detangle. So guys, this is getting exciting. Okay guys, we're getting somewhere. So, yep. Okay, here's one last ball of tangles. I think once I get this ball done i can actually comb through here with confidence yep oh one last one okay okay great all right guys so now we've gotten to the point where okay we can comb out the hair. Okay, this is another ball of crap. Okay, now. Okay, we're done with that. Alright guys, so I have so much shedded hair. And you guys are like, and she still has so much hair. But, this is my fault. All that right there is because I do not obey the curly rules of hydrate 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 regularly like i said i should have showed you guys my hair before i hydrated it because it was so crazily dry i was really worried i was like oh my hair is way too dry okay guys so i got this done cool so now, y'all send the Glam Twins notes and tell them that they, you want them to um, do a video with me, helping me do my hair, teaching me one-on-one -on -one for my birthday, guys. My birthday's coming up September 2nd, the second day of September. Tell them let's do a Labor Day video, Labor Day weekend video. Okay guys, so. Okay guys, so I've officially combed all my hair out. This section, mind you. I've officially combed this entire section out. There's nothing else left. Let's take all that hair off of the um, comb. I don't even know if y'all can see this comb. It's a big pile of hair right here. It's a mess. I'm probably gonna show y'all at the end. Maybe you guys will send me some information on how to make a wig out of your own hair. That would be cool. I would be down to make a wig out of my own hair. Okay. Cause that's like the only natural hair I'm gonna use. Okay, so now I've done this. I'm still gonna do this other side. 
Okay, I've done the combing it out, which I guess now I can try to like, oh wow, it's still kind of tangled guys. This is annoying. Okay, so, okay. So what I'm gonna do, oh, it's, and it's getting hot guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, oh, excuse me, I'm going to section my hair right here. And I'm going to, I don't know, I've seen the Glam Twins braid it and I've seen them twist it. I'm going to braid it so hopefully it'll make the curls come back in. Let's just see what happens. I don't know, they'll do like braid out, twist out, whatever. But usually they just do it just to get their hair out the way. So, I'm just doing super tight braid. So, you see how poofy it is at the top? That's why my hair is poofy when I do like different looks or just wear it down because I didn't snatch it at the top. But I don't like it snatched at the top because then that's sometimes how you lose your edges. Because when you go to sleep with it and your hair can't really move, when you wrap it, all that, so, let me see. This video is getting mega long. Let me see. Okay, let me check this out. Okay, so now let's do another section. Let's see. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to twist this one just so we can see what, what the difference is. Let's see what it looks like twisted and let's see what one looks like braided. So what I'm gonna do after I twist this one though, I'm gonna slide some of that Jamaican black castor oil curling cream on here just to see if it's gonna seal it and keep it twisted. I twisted it really tight, but let's just see what happens. Cause honestly, even though I put tons of product in there, it doesn't feel like it has that much product. Like, as I was twisting, I feel like my hair is getting really dry, which worries me about the rest of my head. So, I, I just slid some down, and I'm just going to slide some down this braid, and I'm going to see it. Okay. Mm -mm. okay, so, okay, we did that. Oh, let's let that stay there. Let me hurry up. Guys, and that's like an oxymoron talking about let you hurry up when you have long thick hair. There's no hurry up. There's absolutely no hurry up. Okay, even when you think you're rushing, it's not rushing. You still gotta just go through this process. There's just no way to get it done quickly. And this is why people want to charge $250 to do my hair because it's three hours of their work day. Who want to call my hair for 70 bucks for three hours? 
when they could have probably had three clients in their chair in those three hours. Not to say they don't, but my hair is going to get its three hour time if you're not rushing me. Now, some stylists I've been to, they'll only let products stay on my hair for 10 minutes and make me like, no, that's enough. No, you just want to hurry up. It's not enough. I want my 30 minutes under this dryer. Now, some of them will try to teach me a lesson for, for demanding my 30 minutes because they don't want to. They want my money, but they want me out of their life. Some people really know how to do natural hair and they know how to get finished with us quickly too. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is a mess. Okay. And they know how to get finished with us quickly. As far as quickly would be two hours for me. That's, that's quickly for me. It's not no for real, for real. Quickly. It's like, um, I'm going to put some more product in here because it's getting dry already, guys. can get somebody to do my hair the way I want them to do it I pay what they ask some women are saving up money to get thousands of dollars in handbags they want a six, $6,700 $7,000 Chanel $15,000 uh, Birkin I save up my money to get my hair combed <laughs> That's what I keep on about, guys. I keep on to get my hair combed. Because long hair, it's not cheap. I don't care who. Natural hair is not cheap. It's not easy. It's time consuming. You guys, I'm so sorry I'm tearing this gum up. This is why I don't try to chew gum in public. I would get to a speed. If I wasn't talking, you guys, and I was just combing my hair, I would be popping it. It would be going down like 4th of July up in here. I'd be popping it, making all kind of noises, bubbles, everything. Like, do they have bubblegum competitions? <laughs> huh? I'd be like the heavyweight champion in chewing gum. I kid you not. I'd be doing all kind of I ain't even gonna give y'all an example. Nope. Nope. Let me see. So, okay, so I'm down to this last section, which is pretty dry. I want you guys to know that. Now, where did I put my comb? Oh, man, this is annoying. Oh, here's my comb. This last section in the front is pretty dry, guys. And y'all saw it was just dripping in water. And it's pretty dry already. Mind you, this is not, this is just a front, this is maybe a third of my hair, maybe. I just, I hope y'all can see the portions I put in my hair. It's three fingers at a time. Three fingers. I will say all of them have their own texture. All of these, three of these products have their own texture. The Jamaican Black Casserole Curling Cream, it definitely has a gel-like consistency, almost like a pomade, like a gel pomade. Super thick, super thick, um, but it's cool. It's like, it's a gel to me. Just like Let's Jam from back in the day, but more, it's more whipped, like it's a movable Let's Jam. It's not that hardcore. Even though, you know what? Comment below and see, tell me if you guys see Let's Jam anywhere anymore. Cause I will order me some Let's Jam because that would be a great product to add to this when you're letting your hair dry. Because it would, it would define the curls. 
it would really define these curls and lock them in. It would really lock them in. Like right now. Okay, so this is looking like something. Okay, so. Who played the lottery last night? Who was going for the Mega Millions and the Fantasy Five? <laughs> they said. They said Mega Millions was at two hundred and forty-one million dollars last night. I meant to braid this one. Let me untwist it. I meant to braid this one, guys, because I wanted two braids and two. So we can see how that worked. Um. What I like to do, I like to pretend like I won the lottery. And what would I do if I won the lottery, like right now? I would just up here recording this video. And I'm up here like, okay. Oh my God, I just won $241 million. First of all, my first thoughts are i don't want nobody to know and how am i gonna safely get this money put it in my bank account and get out of town you know how am i gonna do all of that before anybody knows right so then i started thinking like Ooh, hopefully my bank would give me so much cash up front so I can immediately move to a building where you can't just come in there. It has security and you can't even get on my floor unless you live on my floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I started thinking all that stuff. And you know how, like, you already live your own reality. Because it's like, would I keep doing what I'm already doing? Would I just, like, what would I do? You know? I honestly feel like when look I'm gonna say when when I'm given large sums of money like that I want to put something into play that residually blesses the community like where I live here there are so many homeless people everywhere like it is alarming and when I see them I just be like wow you know everybody's running around shopping for whatever and I'm like these people are like right here you know they're right here they need somewhere to go like they need a house I like saying to myself how come and I think I'm gonna put this Tonight, I'm going to try to figure out how to go live on my Instagram. And I want to see how it is I can start some type of GoFundMe for the homeless guys. So we can... Look at that. Look at that. Can y'all believe that? Look at it. It's like... I don't know. Interesting, isn't it? What's okay guys so I just swirled it up I don't know if it's gonna stay like this and it probably looks weird like this but I kind of did that because I wanted to see if that's gonna help bring the curl make the curls more defined rather than it just hanging like it's braided and it's twisted and now it's like rolled up anyway we'll see we gonna see okay so now i really should finish this back part real quick it's like when you don't ever comb your hair out and you're trying to do something that requires you to comb your hair out that's half of the reason why you don't, you're like, uh-uh, forget it. 
you'd be seeing, you know, hearing about all these pretty styles and hoping like, oh, I wish my hair would shake like that or oh, I wish my hair would all that. And I'm like, nope, I love my bun. Takes me less than three seconds. But yeah, guys, I need a curly team. And I want to help the homeless people. I don't think it's right to live in extremity, extremes. Meaning, you got extreme rich here and extreme poor here. No, forget that. I don't like it. I don't like, you know, walking past homeless people to go into the mall you know, Saks and all this, Nordstrom, Neiman's, you know, and there's people that's hungry. One day I was walking down the breezeway to go to my bank and I tripped over a homeless guy. I didn't expect him to be laying on the floor right there, but he was. And I was like, hey, is this a person with my cane? You know, kind of tapped him and it was just like a cane step trip thing i didn't fall but anyway i'm like is this a person and he's like yeah and i'm like are you okay he's like yeah i'm okay i'm just hungry i'm like oh well let's get you something to eat and i walk right in the restaurant he was sitting in front of and they had like wings and fried rice and order him you know a meal and then what kind of drink do you want and I gave that to him, and when I came out the bank, he was gone. He, you know, he said he hadn't had a decent meal in a few days, you know. But I'm like, this is ridiculous, guys. It just should not be any way that anyone is on the streets ever, period. I don't care what their problem is. They should not be on the streets. We should have adequate housing for everybody there should be if you if you're not working there should be somewhere you can go without a shadow of a doubt and you should be able to bathe and you should be able to get you some rest and you should be able to eat something you really should um and people that are found on the streets after that then they should be you know sent to whatever institution they need to be sent to if that means they need mental mental wellness or if that means they just need to be put through a rehab program to understand that you know you can't live outside and maybe we need to look at alternative domiciles like okay everybody don't want to live inside of a building so maybe we need to have nomadic living where people can live in nature and we can have cabins we can have tents like it's just all kind of living and everyone can pick one and that's that like a standard all of us make sure everybody is not on the streets and hungry and then from there <clears throat> From there, it's like, okay, now, if you want more, then you know what you got to do to get more. If you want a mansion, if you want a spouse, if you want children and all that other stuff, then you know you got to, you know, put something together. You're going to have to get bring in the income and then, and then have people that can teach them about that too. Like, hey, no matter what, you always have a place to live. You'll always have a place to bathe you'll always have a place to um talk to someone you know those are the things that we can do for you but if you decide at whatever point you want to have be in a relationship with someone and expand your family then these are the things that come with that you know i teach them some life skills and help them you know y'all my hair is getting really dry already I know y'all are like how is it really dry 
it's getting there. And I just like powered my way through one of my tangles instead of taking my time because I'm getting tired. But anyway, um, it just doesn't make any sense. We can't be walking around here imbalanced like this where you got all these homeless people all over the place. You just can't do it. That's insane too because there's a lot of people. I don't know if people are um, just like exhausted of the cycle. They're just like, no, I don't never make enough money. I don't ever catch a break. I'm tired. I can't keep starting my life over. Like, I don't know what it is. But it's an abundance of people that are just like, I'll just be outside. But let's not just have them outside. It's it's stormed here in, that, in Atlanta. It's been storming regularly since the spring. It's been storming regularly. Meaning most days of the week, we're getting a lot of rain. Even if it doesn't last all day, which we've had weeks where it's lasted all night, all day. Oh, let me see. But yeah, I'll be thinking about that. I'm like, no, I can't feel good about spending exorbitant amounts of money on anything and constantly walking past people that are just not okay like no can't do it i'm like maybe we can we gotta set up something where they learn skills and maybe make it a whole program where you have to have mental wellness you know call it the check-in and then you have to, you know, you have to eat, take your vitamins every day. You have to eat, you know, every day you can pick, but you know, you have to eat. Like that's a part of living here. Living here means you're dedicated and committed to being healthy and positive and, you know, being your best self. And so then you just help them because they need help. Like it's obvious. When a person doesn't mind sleeping outside, guys, that's a cry for help. Bottom line, they're okay with being out here in the storms with Mother Nature. And Georgia's Mother Nature is crazy. Terrifying. Terrifying. I've never, ever encountered the kind of bugs that are out here. Mm -mm. In the summertime, I don't even try to go outside that much. Because they're waiting on me. They cannot wait till I come outside. Like, oh yes. That's probably when I'm gonna start bringing a Lysol bar, a bottle of Lysol with me. Y'all, I'm just powering through this because finger raking, it's just, it takes too long. Um, even though it does help with applying the product, and like the glam twins will always talk about the slip of a product. Like does it have good slip? Because it helps that's what helps glide through the tangles. Is how slippery how slippery the product is. So hold up. Oof. That kind of took a little bit out of me. So see my hair. Hopefully the next time I do a video with y'all. Um, prayerfully, what will happen is I can get to styling, which means I can actually part my hair into sections that make sense. Look at that. I just broke all that off because I'm exhausted. Okay. One thing I will say, too, you can't do curly hair when you're tired. You cannot. You cannot do curly hair when you're tired if you do it you will have a lot of breakage and don't i hope i don't forget to tilt this camera down when i'm finished so y'all can see how much shedding i have from 
not being obedient and keeping my hair hydrated by resaturating my hair with water and oil every other day and oiling my scalp every day because I'm disobedient then you're gonna have tons tons of shedding now the glam twins do have a book on how to grow long healthy hair they came out with it like five years ago I want to say it was at Barnes and Nobles you could get an autograph they had like a book signing or oh, and for a while they left like so many autograph books there I got one um, if you're not into physical books they do have it as an ebook so you could pick it up um, and it was inexpensive I want to say the ebook is only like maybe $7.99 whereas like the physical book might have been $14.99 I don't remember <clears throat> but I did get it I got both of them I feel like they're like collectors items it's a super easy read now another person that I watch on what they do with their hair because I like to watch people that specialize in straightening their hair and I like to watch people that specialize in curly hair right um, Beauty by Gabby her hair is amazing it's super thick and long she has a video on how um, I think it's the same type of title like how to grow long healthy hair or something like that it has millions of views um, and yeah it has millions of views at the time she was always straight and she was getting these Lysio treatments Japanese Lysio treatments so she only had to go get her hair straightened like once every six months or something and then she would straighten the roots herself because it's so long it's just going to automatically fall straight to the weight of your hair and so anyway guys um see my little ball fell down i'm gonna read i'm gonna do a ball again in a minute you guys this is a real job men that are interested in being with a woman who has long natural hair it's not cheap and don't give that woman a hard time about her hair products and how much it costs to go get her hair done don't even waste your time and my whole thing is if it bothers you that's that already lets you know you don't need to be with that person if their lifestyle bothers you or you don't see yourself contributing to it you're like as long as she if you have a statement like that's her business and as long as she don't ask me for anything concerning that you don't care then y'all are not a match because everything about that woman is your business and everything about you is her business and if you go into it with those type of thoughts, you'll be really happy and successful. If you go into it like, okay, it's looking like this woman is keeping up with herself to the tune of XYZ dollars a month. So me going forward with her means I'm cool with this lifestyle. I'm cool with these decisions that she's making. Um, I really enjoy the benefits of it you know if you if you um if you can say that then you're doing good but if you're with somebody that every time they leave the house or open their mouth you're cringing because you're worried like oh god what's she about to say now or you see her watching vi life with kelly you're like oh god no not vi life with kelly <laughs> 
if you're with somebody and that's how you feel, y'all are not a match. Just go on and break up. It's okay. You will be linked to the right woman. But don't be trying to make it work because that woman, she feels that energy as well. But it's confusing because it's like, is he just like that? Because some guys are just like that. They're just going to talk crap. Doesn't matter. They're just going to talk crap. And then, but they're going to give you the money or they're going to, you know, babe, you look so good. You smell so good. Or, um, you know, they're going to do it. They're into it. If you stop, they would ask, like, babe, why are you not doing such and such anymore? Oh, my God. Let you cut your hair off. They would fall out. <gasps> babe, no. Why did you do that? Or if they caught you in the middle of about to doing it. Like, babe, what are you doing? Oh, I'm at the hair salon. Oh, you about to, what you about to get done to your hair? Oh, I'm just going to have them cut it into a style since you don't really care for it. And it's a lot of work. <gasps> babe, no, no. I didn't mean that. No, I just talk crap. Like, you know, that's how some people are. Like, no, I love your hair. No. How much does it cost to keep up with that? I'll take care of that for you. Like, oh, really? So, you just kind of got to figure out who is he. And if you're into that. Like, some women don't care what a man says, how he acts about things, as long as he does it. Like, I don't care. My man talks crap, but he loves me and he takes care of me. So, she might just accept it as you're venting or whatever. Who knows? But some women don't like it. They're like, no, if you're going to do it, do it with a smile. I don't want to hear no crap. Don't do that. You know? So you just got to figure out what you like, what you can deal with, what you can't deal with. Y'all, this is not going good. I'm going to mega make a tire. And all my edges on the other side are dry. So it lets me know I really need um, a different moisturizer. I need something that's more on the water side at some point. So I can get these edges. They're long though. My edges are like four inches. That's pretty long for edges. All the girls is getting baby hairs. I guess that's been going on for a while. I'm always late. I don't know. I don't keep up with anybody. But, um, I think that's a big deal. Getting these baby hairs done on top of whatever style. I don't know. I never was into baby hair because you got to put that on your actual face. And I'm always like, ooh, you're shellacking product on your face. I don't think so. I'm not down for that. Y'all see what just almost happened? I almost had a huge knot at the bottom of my hair because when you braid your hair, if you don't pay attention, oh no, let me see if it did it anyway. It will um, it will knot up at the bottom because the strands are so long. Thank you, Lord. Okay, there it is. The strands are so long, they'll braid themselves at the bottom. So you have to kind of like make sure you spread the pieces off so they don't do that like I'm up here braiding this so I can see but I do feel like if you do twist with your wet hair or products you're gonna have those more so like soft bouncy large pillow soft curls or whatever <clears throat> I think you're gonna have that <sighs> versus if you braid your hair then I think this is where the more defined curls come from is when you braid your hair then I just kind of like wrap the bottom around my finger but I do feel like that that oh look at this guys y'all didn't even say nothing wow this one got way up here along oh no <sighs> this is annoying let me see Mm -mm. Nope, it is really in there too because I braid tight so I can have tight coils of curls. Let me see. 
I know this is over an hour already. This is probably gonna be a two hour video because I'm really tired and my hair is almost dry and I'm getting hungry and cranky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so now I gotta braid this again. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just snack. I should have got a snack before I started this. Mm -mm. Oh well. Uh -huh. so okay so I'm sectioning off my hair again and all I do is like section from the bottom because if I section too high up, it's a nightmare because, and why is it a nightmare, guys? Because it's tangled up there. It is. It's just really tangled. Super tangled. Let me see. Okay, so back to what I was telling you. So I am Choctaw Nation with Ethiopian ancestry. If you're wondering, so I know that's a debate. Like, oh, is she black? Yes, I'm a black woman. Is she completely black? She got to be mixed with something. No, black women don't have to be mixed with anything to have long, beautiful, healthy hair. We do not. Um, so, anyhow, Beauty by Gabby has a video. So, she was like straight, strictly straight hair for so a few years. And then she transitioned to curly hair like three years ago, y'all. And what she did instead of doing the big chop where she would have like no hair, um, you know, growing from the root, she just didn't get her Lysio treatments anymore and just sat up there and, um, what the heck happened? She sat up there and did a big chop after three years y'all gotta see that video because her hair was all the way past her breast her new growth of natural hair and then the straight hair was all the way past her behind you guys y'all have got to see that video her hair was banging long yeah i said it banging long she lives in florida and i just love her and her family i didn't know for the longest she had um three daughters and she just had another little baby little baby girl and um they were rooting for a boy she and her guy and and she's another lovely scorpio the glam twins beauty by gabby um uh what's her name that i watched it's another one. Oh, gina janine all of them are scorpios and they just have like a real big consistency, if that makes sense. A real big consistency. They're extremely consistent on hair, nails, beauty, anything that has to do with looking good, presentation, skincare, makeup. I mean, they are all over it and they are extremely consistent. But definitely check out Beauty by Gabby. Watch like all her stuff. Um, I usually like their older videos more. Like even the Glam Twins. I usually really like their older videos more. Um, but anything they're doing on products, when they you know do it on their hair, I watch it. I listen to the videos. And, okay, so, 
that's not all the way combed out guys like how i've combed out the other side nope then the more that i'm sticking my finger all over the place here it is y'all i'm so tired of this okay so this is the bottom I'm going to section that like that and section this like this. I'm going to twist this. I'm going to twist it, twist it, twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. My gum is done, guys. It is done. It is done. There is nothing left. It is done. Wow. I can't even get this hair off my fingertips. Okay. I have to get some backup. Okay. So I do this and then I'm done. I think because the twisting is so much faster, I think that I'm going to do that for all the rest of the sections. So here's this next section. Okay, so Beauty by Gabby is half Jamaican and half Italian before you guys feel some type of way or whatever whatever um, she's half Jamaican and half Italian and um, definitely check our video out she has really good wash and go videos now that she's completely natural I don't know I haven't seen any updated like watching her go from curly to straight I don't know if she does that anymore like if she's just focusing on natural hair right now because when she was straight she was straight like she stayed straight for years and was always just bringing us videos showing us different styles sometimes she would add hair to her um hair like for the look like if she didn't want to dye her hair she would add whatever color hair which I thought was a really cute idea. Like, ooh, I could add hair. And, okay, guys, the hair back here is pretty much dry. I want y'all to know that. This hair back here, right here is dry. No. Let me try to add some stuff to it. I'm going to put this curling custard in there first. okay yeah i'm just gonna put a bunch of this i should have put that elastic qp but i told you guys the next video i did on my hair i was going to show y'all what my hair is looking like using these three products so that's what we're doing um i'm going to put some olive oil in my hair no i'm gonna put no, I am. I'm going to put some olive oil all over these twists and braids after I finish this last section. I'm so super happy about that we're on the last section. Yeah, I'm so happy we're on the last section. Yeah. Once again, for you all watching that may have just come in on this part of the video, I have so much hair that is shedding. It's not breakage, it's me going through my hair and it's shedding because I do not hydrate and keep my hair moisturized regularly. Um, literally, my hair was dry. If you can imagine a stack of hay, my hair was like that before I saturated my hair in water at the beginning of this. Um, not even at the beginning, before I even got on camera, I had already taken a shower. 
and saturated my hair but it was like several hours ago so the sides were already getting were already dry pretty much so i went back at the top of this video and and rehydrated the roots so it wouldn't be so bad now this is what i do want to say although my hair was really getting to the dry side it was still damp and more wet towards the roots me putting this on jackie's curling custard is really um it's really moisturizing my hair um that's really impressive because my hair is not it really receives product when it's wet it doesn't do really good once it's dry the only thing i've seen my hair cooperate with once it's dry is the as i am double buttercream and then i use some blue magic coconut blue magic around my edges i know y'all listening like really is she really saying coconut blue magic yep it works guys it softens up those edges every time so yep okay so i put this product in here is the last section why because i'm tired the glam times i usually do like four sections when they do theirs but no not me not today i'm gonna get better as i keep doing this it's gonna get better and better and i'll start getting a little bit more a little more organized um what I'm learning right now about these products that I'm using is that I probably want to use the custard first, the Aunt Jackie's curling custard first, then the double buttercream next, and then the black Jamaican black castor oil curling cream last because it works more like a sealant, like it's sealing everything in. So excuse me next time i will i wonder can y'all see how much i'm picking up out this container hopefully the containers don't look too crazy but i pick up that much at a time hopefully y'all can see um so my hair went from like a bush to now you're starting to see the curls Come back in and it's lengthening now sometimes a lot of people have an issue with shrinkage like their curls draw up I will say the longer your hair gets the less shrinkage you're gonna have it's really and it depends on what kind of products you're using too but I will tell y'all the longer your hair gets the less shrinkage you're gonna have it's gonna still showcase that length i feel like when you put products in your hair too i feel like that's half of the detangling process because i feel like even if you're not finger raking you're just gliding it in there i feel like it glides through some of those tangles for you and so I do feel like you should use a detangler and detangle your hair first and then put your stylers in to help you with keeping that curl pattern you're looking for, that look. Because right now I put all that product in my hair and I'm combing it out now. Which is fine, but it's like I wanted the defined curls, right? So... But, yep, this is what's going on, guys. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Okay. This is annoying. Okay. So, guys. Now that I have braided through all of this, okay. Now that I have braided through all of this. Okay. I'm going to, what do we do? Two twists. Okay. okay, I'm going to go in and braid this one. Even though I can tell I don't like braiding with hair at all. Because it's too much work. Okay, so I'm going to braid this one. Um, then the next one, the last one is going to be a twist. So, now the other side fell down again so I'm gonna see depending on how loose everything is if I can pull it maybe pull it back and then twist them together or make a huge corn roll or something <sighs> Now, something I used to do a lot that I probably will end up doing with you guys once I comb my hair all the way out and do my part in the middle, I'll do a braid. I guess it's called a braid out or something where I'll saturate my hair in product and do two cornrows down the each, one each side. And then I might do two each side. Two each side, go to bed, then wake up and take the cornrows down and then wear it like that. It looks really cute. It's all like wavy and, you know, shiny and stuff. That's really cute. Okay, so. Literally doing this, it makes like all the polish of your hair It'll make like all your hair will pick up. It'll go. It'll loop under. It'll loop under your um polish. Okay, I'll put a little bit more of the black Jamaican castor oil. And if you're wondering how I know what I'm putting, it's because I put them in an order. So I know the one closest to me on the left is black Jamaican, Jamaican black castor oil. I know the one directly to the right of that is the double buttercream. And I know the one behind it is the Aunt Jackie's curling custard. So that's why I could just dip my hand. Now, let's say for some reason I forgot how I did it. The way it feels also. All of them have a different consistency and a different texture so that's how I know what I'm using um, and I pretty much think if you guys can visually see the products then I bet you all of them look differently too like I would think the black Jamaican castor oil it has a really dark almost like jello appearance I think it probably looks like jello and it's probably brown or black or green or a mix of the three colors and then the double buttercream i think that's going to be more of a like vanilla beigey creamy look and then that aunt jackie's curling custard for some reason i think it's white i could be wrong but that's what i think I remember there was this girl in junior high. She had the prettiest, silkiest hair. Her hair used to always look wet. Just so super hydrated and shiny. And I used to be like, dang, how did she get her hair to look like that? I mean, every single day. It was perfect every day. Um, one day, 
Um, I guess she overslept, but she didn't get to do her hair before she got to school. And um, she brought her hair products with her. Um, she had them like in a Tupperware container. She was probably a Scorpio too. Um, but she had like Let's Jam and some type of clear pink gel that doesn't make your hair hard, but it's like a holding gel. And that girl went in the bathroom and did her hair and she said she makes all those different styles and stuff with those products she doesn't even use a crimper like her hair would look like ocean waves and it would be like curl it would be like out and curled over and the back of her hair would be really straight and she would just like bump it it looked like she, you know i mean her hair was perfect because it was a beautiful color and then it had it was trimmed it was even like if she had it down in the back it was bumped under and perfectly trimmed i'm like this girl gonna be a hairstylist but she's just or she could just be a girl that's just really cute and pretty and all her kids are cute and pretty and that's it she doesn't do hair uh, some people put so much energy into themselves it's like they have nothing to give nobody else like i'm tired it takes me a lot to keep me and my girls looking good and meh so anyway shout out to her Those, uh, these products make me think about her all the way from junior high memorial academy in san diego california it was like years and years ago when she had this boyfriend they just seemed like a couple that will always be together like even though we were kids they just seemed like and you know what there was this other girl that went to school and I think they were related some kind of way. And the girl was Jamaican. Well, she was 100% Jamaican and she wore dreads. And the whole thing was you could never, you know, cut your dreads like you would always, you know, have the dreads. And she cut her dreads off. And she got she got brutalized for it guys that girl having school she had bruises all over her body from getting beat i mean it was bad but she had gorgeous hair though some people think like when they see people with their hair like um what's it called in the dreads or the twist or whatever like they must have really coarse hair unmanageable hair and like that's all they can do with it nope some of those people have the most gorgeous hair natural curls just beautiful and they just keep their hair in protective styles because it's a lot or just because they like the look or the feel of it or whatever whatever the reason is now i particularly don't like how i just did my hair because i feel kind of like pippy long stocking i don't know if y'all know about pippy long stocking but google her youtuber i'm sure she has a youtube channel on here her movie or something but the part up here this the meteor part it makes me feel like pippy long stocking so I'm going to stretch my braids out. Hopefully y'all can like see them. You can see. And then let me stretch them over here. And this is like a combination of me twisting and braiding. With the majority of it being twist. And these twists are already unraveling. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to retwist these two twists together and see if that does anything. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Y'all, yeah. yeah. I've been getting so many phone calls. Wow. Anyway, um...
kind of see if I'm, yeah, I'm not going to put this one, I'm not going to put the braids over it, but I did want it. Okay, hold on guys. I'm going to have to put my products up too quickly. Okay. Now, I don't know. My fingernail just got caught on one of my little strands of hair. Thankfully, it didn't break it. See, I would go for this look. If that's better. Kind of like roll it up. It's all crazy. I'm rolling it up. And then you kind of you come over here. And you like... I'm so sleepy, guys. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else tonight because... I sit up there and told y'all I was going to try to go live and all this. I think the most I'm going to do today, I mean tonight, is go on and wrap it up and then take it down in a little bit so y'all can see how it ended up. <sighs> so, let me take these down. Let's take this down. And we're going to put up, do our pineapple. Like the um, Glam Twins teach us. I'm going to teach you to do your pineapple. Okay. When you take it down, you don't really take it down. Like you just unravel. That's all you're doing. You want to keep the definition, but you're just like unraveling. Okay, so. so unraveling. Unraveling. See? Look at that. I just talked to y'all about proper unraveling because it will turn into a knot at the bottom and you will be angry. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Well, I'm supposed to show y'all this floor. Oh, let me forget. Okay. Then let's do this back braid. I see why they fast forward these parts, but then they'll like talk over it if they want to tell you something, like other curly girl videos. And okay, so we see what that looks like. Now let's take this one down. That I just did. I really should have let that one stay a little bit longer. But this is okay. Okay. So, wow, the twists come down really easy. Look at that. Like, literally, all I had to do was just kind of twist it and they're already down. No, I'm not gonna. So, this is how this came out. It's not dry. It's not dry at all. Okay. So this is how it came out. I'm trying to have this as the color block background. Okay. That's that side of the hair. Alright, let's come over here. And let's see. I'm so hungry. So hungry. I'm gonna have to have something. Okay, guys. So. Okay. So this is really wet. 
Okay. That's this one. We haven't broke anything apart yet. Okay, so now. Y'all ever watch figure skating? Like this reminds me, unraveling these twists remind me of when they do those spins up in the sky and land. That's what that reminds me of. Okay, so now I'm undoing the braid. This is insane. Okay, so we did that. So now we're on almost our last, our last one. I hope I'm in a good spot. Okay. And this is our last twist. Okay, guys. And this is how this side and this back came out. What do y'all think? This is pretty. Okay, guys, this is what we got. What do y'all think? Pretty, huh? Okay, now. We put all this stuff up. That's how we're going to put this double buttercream up. Okay, now. finished product so far it's not dry let me put my hair up here maybe it looks better if I take it off I'm trying to keep it on this I try to keep it on the towel so you guys can see without being distracted you can see exactly what it looks like on a blank background right so This is my hair after I rehydrated the curls with what I rehydrated the curls with as I am Jamaican black castor oil curling cream on Jackie's curling custard and as I am double buttercream. Okay, and this is a mix of braiding and uh, twisting the hair to have defined curls. It's still wet, it's not dry. And now let me put some oil on this, a little oil. Because I don't know what they do. Usually they'll let it dry and then put some oil in. Let me see. Y'all, yeah, it's on this set of hair, bro. It's crazy. I just put some main choice in my scalp. Um, 
all I'm doing is just kind of lightly going over my hair with some oil. Now, when it's dry, I'll be a little bit more aggressive. So now that I'm finished with this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a um, hair hot, a sponge. I'm gonna get a hair tie, a scrunchie, and do my pineapple. Now, so how I go about, put this in my chair, how I go about doing my pineapple, and let me just do a turnaround so y'all can just see how it looks overall. Let me do a turnaround. Okay. Oh Lord, it might start storming. Okay, guys. So that's like a straggling piece of hair. Okay, guys. So here's my hair in the back. This is what it's looking like, honey. This is it. Maybe some like this is a really long piece of hair, guys. Look how long that hair strand is, and it's all the way. Wow. I must have ripped out a lot of hair. Guys, this piece of hair is, I can feel it in my room. <laughs> anyway, so. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, this is where we're at with this. Okay. Here it is from the side. And so when you guys see my picture on Instagram of my hair completely dry the other day, before, no one to say that was like Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. No, it was Monday. It was Monday. Okay. So. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is it. Okay, so now... That it's time to get ready for bed. I just, when I do it, I kind of use my palm of my hand. I just scoop the palm of my hand like this to get that hair up. Like the scoop. I know what happens, like the more you're pulling it, the more it's just kind of laying down on its own until you get to this front part the front part is always a rebellious part and then you just have to scoop the front in there now there it is guys so now hopefully y'all can see so now, I just, now, normally, I just bun it because I don't, wet hair with product like this is going to cause acne. So I typically bun my hair until I'm going outside and then after I when I go outside I take it completely down so it can air dry that's what I do for the sake of this video I'm showing you guys what a pineapple is I just went on and showed you this is considered a pineapple right here and then I personally think the curls work out a lot better when you bun it as well instead of just but I know you don't want the sour smell so that's the whole point of keeping the ponytail free while it's wet and do your hair early in the day see this is a mess this one is not working y'all hold on that one is not doing its best 
Uh-uh. Let me put some product on that one. That one is not going to embarrass the girls. No. Not going to embarrass us. Okay, watch this. Okay. Okay, guys. So, I just put this in here. And it's not looking like... I'm going to have to do some curling custard. And that's the good thing about coming back in. I'm doing this pineapple because it's gonna show you if you're winning or losing and while it's still drying you have time to do something about it so I'm gonna stay crazy you can go ahead on and rebraid or retwist that I'm gonna go on and twist that it probably does need to be worth it though. Mom, pull it out. <clears throat> now look how long I've been doing my hair. I didn't even, this isn't even a wash day, y'all. Natural girls are expensive. Natural girls. Women. We are expensive. People are expensive. ever see a girl that some of her curls is popping and some of them are not that's because she got tired <laughs> that's why she got tired and she did not feel like redoing it she was like no forget it take me as I am it happens it happens every day because my typical curly girl thing is hydrate oil, cream, and bun. Walk out the door. Whatever curls come out of that, I don't care. Because that's all I'm giving. That's all I'm giving. So tomorrow, I will unravel these twists. And let them live. I will unravel. I will unravel. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Mm -hmm. I will unravel these curls. Yes, I will. I will unravel these twists. Tomorrow. This seems like it's going through something. What's going on? Let me twist this one too just because. Seems like it's not sure. It's not sure. I want it to be sure. Okay, so. Some of you are like, how does she know? I'm just rocking back and forth. I am really sorry about that. I hope visually that's not making y'all dizzy, seasick, or whatever. But basically, how I know is how it feels. I can feel the definition. I can feel the frizz. I can feel, and that's what I really do. Like after I finish styling my hair, I'll just keep like pushing it up, scrunching it up, and going with my day. Like once I'm done, I'm finished. And I'll just keep like kind of punch, scrunching it up. And that's it. 
Like this, this feels pretty good to me. It feels pretty good. Okay. Okay. There it is, guys. This is the final result for today. Now, once it dries, like tomorrow, then I'll show y'all some more stuff. Because then I'll put like some more oil in it. And yeah, I'll put some more oil in it. I'm trying to get all these straggling pieces out of my head. And um, I'll show you what it looks like down. And that's probably like the last time I'm gonna wear it down for a while. I think I'm gonna have it back in ponytails and buns. And then when I do the two braids on each side, braid out. Okay. Now I don't like to like, I don't like my hair to touch my face at all. <laughs> Unless it's dry. Even then, I don't like my face, my hair to touch my face ever. So I'm always going to push it back and off in a way. So I just want y'all to see this. Um, I'm still going to have to work on dealing with these stragglers. Because there are stragglers. But this is that. And then what I end up doing when I get off the camera... I will turn this into some type of bun off the top of my head or I will get the um dryer and go on and dry this y'all that's catchy yeah yeah I'll go on and dry it there it is Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have worked really hard for y'all today. Woo! Let me see. Now, I'm going to show you guys this floor uh, so you can see how much hair that sh I've shed today, tonight. And it doesn't mean a thing because I have so much hair. It is like the Lord just overflows my cup. Now, preferably... Let's just see whatever y'all can see. Hopefully it works out. Now, there it is. Bow. Hopefully y'all are seeing the hair. If you're not, we're not. We're gonna move on. Stage one. Selfie zoom. Stop recording video. Face near left edge. One face near face near left edge. Center. Okay. Speech off. So, yeah, guys, I'm exhausted. I thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And then do it again. And come back again and again. <laughs> and I'll see you guys very soon. As in the next video. Speech on. Stop recording video. Button. Stop recording video. Button. Near top edge. One face near top edge.